everyone i am back and i'm doing a has been hotel hello boss haul video i know it's been a long time since i've done my last video on the channel i like i said there's no set schedule i have in mind for the channel so it's always going to be a little bit sometimes a gap period it is things going on so i'll try to do videos as often as i can and I'm really excited. I just did a uh, order for the first time in a really long time from Shark Robot and Vimsy Pop. And I am really excited to see all the pins that I ordered and the t-shirt in person. And so here is my order. It's really bigger than I'm used to. I'm used to like the packaging in the bubble wrap envelope, but I actually got a box this time. So I'm gonna open it up with my box cutter because nobody's got time to peel off the tape. This tape is really strong. So the first item I am showing in person and I'm really excited about is my Stolas You Will Be Okay pin. It's really big. It comes in a nice, I want to say cardboard box. And I'm just in love with it. It has the gold details and it came out so nicely on this one. I just love the gold palette with Stolas and Octavia. And so I'm trying to get a close-up look. Here is the pin box. It has the Hello Boss, well, Hello Boss logo on the back. And then you open it up and you can actually see the pin in the box. Still debating whether I want to keep it in the box or I want to have it on my pin board with the rest of my Hello Boss has been hotel pins. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh yeah. And I'm like, I'm also in theme today for my look. So I took inspiration from Moxie, Millie, and just the general the amps we have seen so far. And, you know, a little bit of Sally Mae because I had to change up the horns. They came all black. I had to add the white stripes. But I think it came out pretty good. Yeah. All right. I was kind of hoping for, like, a surprise feature on this. Um, just because it looks like it would spin, but it's just leveled so you have your background setting and then you have Ostolis and then you have Octavia on his lap but of course we all know it was an amazing song and we need the full soundtrack for all the songs we've heard so far because I still really want my full length song of my world is burning down all around me we only get a snippet I want the full length song okay so here is the you will be okay pin Okay. Sorry, I dropped things already. Okay, and then I got my has been hotel pins. I only got two this time around because let's be honest, I only ever get Angel Dust and Cherry Bomb most of the time. Sometimes Charlie. Um, I did get baggy recently, a lot of the pin up ones from Has Been Hotel. But no, let's not show that so I don't get flagged for the inappropriateness. Um, so I do have the Addict Cherry Bomb pin. And I do have the Addict Angel Dust pin, cause why not? Add on to my Cherry and Angel Dust collection. I'm kind of surprised how dark it went with the glitter. I was kind of picturing a lighter pink, like the image. So when it came like this super bright, uh, vibrant pink color, I was kind of disappointed. Well, not disappointed, but I kind of wish it had come lighter because I feel like a lot of the face details and everything are becoming hidden. And they're not really being shown. And I do like the tone of Cherry Bomb's pink look in this, the hairstyle. I like her ponytail. I was going to appreciate that high ponytail. So yeah, I've got Angel Dust and Cherry Bomb to add on to my collection. Then 
ahead for my next set. I do have two Luna pins that I've gotten. I got the Luna Human Transformation and I got Luna Smiling because I thought she was really adorable. And I'm so glad it came out really close to how it looked like on the website. It's basically the same. Everything, the color pattern, saturation, all of it looks the same. And I'm pretty sure she's wearing the outfit from the episode 8 previews we've been seeing so far. And I just love it. She's so smiling. I can picture her doing this to Blitz. And so I'm really excited about the episode. It needs to come out sooner. I know we keep getting updates about how it's going to come out. I would really like to have it really soon. Um, because, yeah, the wait is killing me. And then, of course, Human Transformation Luna. I love it just because the colors are such a nice palette of blue and the nice shades. I also kind of pictured the glitter to be lighter because I felt like online on Shark Robot it looked like a lighter um, glitter pattern. But this one I actually really like. I like the shade of blue. It's really pretty. So these are my two Luna pins I've gotten this time around. I did also want to get the hanging Luna pin where she has the I'm forgetting the name of it this is a ball spike in her mouth but I held back and I didn't buy it because I was buying already a lot of merch and then of course I had to get Moxie and Millie with the spinning guns I haven't opened it yet so I haven't seen how the spinning is I feel like it has a pretty good range once it's out of the packet, I feel like I could just flick it and it'll spin. But I do love this. And then, of course, I always love that they're always usually in the shape of, like, a heart silhouette. They're always really close to each other and you always can sign, kind of see the heart outline between them. So I really like this between them both. And then is some glow-in-the-dark ones I've gotten this time around. There it is. And so I have the Zeralis and Friends sign, and then I have the Ozzy sign because Osmodius oh, killed that song. I just I love the singer. I love seeing them in Beetlejuice in the musical. And so to find out that they were guest starring on Hell of a Boss and doing that whole song sequence was amazing. Again, I'm trying to not leave any spoilers. If you haven't seen the episodes yet, if you haven't, go watch them. Go see the Husband Hotel pilot episode that was released before it got picked up by A24. And go watch all the episodes of Hell of a Boss. We're almost to the finale. Go catch up. You got the time. Um, I swear I'm not paid for any of this. I know there's a sponsor, but if Izzy Pop, you want to hit me up. Just as a fan, honestly, I would be really happy with just you reaching, me, reaching out to me. Um, yeah, because honestly, I'm basically doing all this for free, and I don't mind because I love, I love doing all these videos and looking at all this merch together. And I honestly really wish I had more money so I can get more merch, because there are a lot of times where I see things that are so cute, like the antique pins, and I haven't gotten them. Um, but these glow really nice in the dark. I have some side-by-sides of how they look like when it's daytime and when they're like charged up with the light and sun. They glow really bright and I was really happy that they glow that bright. You know, some glow in the dark, they are not good. Pins, I've usually always seen, they glow really well. So I'm really happy with these. Good purchases, good purchases. Love the glow in the dark. Lastly, I did get a t-shirt this time around. This t-shirt is not for me, but I did get a Moxie and Millie t-shirt in size medium. Of course, as always, the print is very nicely printed. I don't see any of the crackling, and usually even after multiple washes, there's not really any crackling on the shirts. Um, this is like the cotton material, so it's not the soft sort of t-shirts with the polyester fabric. It is the cotton but it's a really nice print and I really do like it. I personally don't usually wear or like to wear the prints that are kind of set in a box frame. As you can see, it's kind of just all boxy. 
and it's printed really well with a lot of designs and background things along with the little pop art kind of effect with the dots but I don't know just not my cup of tea to do the rectangular kind of shape I like the designs with more open endings and with the sleeve art but I did get this as a present so if you're all like curious how does it print this is how the design came out for the Moxie and Millie shirt with the I can't remember if it was like a straight wear title I feel like a lot of the clothing items this time around were called streetwear but it is very cute and I hope you all enjoy that haul I will post to TikTok when I put them all on my pin board or I decide what I'm gonna do with them um for now it is entering summer I'm gonna hopefully have more content videos um hopefully another trip to the dog park and to dog beach because I really love um Chewy and I really want him to be more social he's really a mama's boy he doesn't interact with other dogs and other pets in general he just kind of freaks out so I'm really hoping to sort of break that habit if you have any tips please send them my way any theories about the episodes go ahead and send them I'll try to get more makeup tutorials um, inspired by husband hotel and hell of a boss posted and thank you for all the support so far this channel has been my stress relief and it helps me deal and cope with a lot of different things so i'm always appreciating and always loving all the support that i get from all of you